Hello everyone, my name is Alpha. Welcome to Plummy Sims and welcome to another speed build. I hope you're all doing well and having such a wonderful day. So today we are building in the world of Oasis Springs, which is my most favorite world. And today we're building another family house, but this time we're doing it in a mid-century modern style. So I love mid-century modern. I think it's one of my most favorite style to work with I don't know why but there's something about this style that's very interesting to make and everything just looks so beautiful and I think I couldn't get over with this style I don't know but anyway this house or this family house is a one two three three bedroom and two bathroom house and also we have a kind of half bathroom or powder room so it's a three bedroom and two and a half bathroom house and actually the reason i built this house was i found this image on pinterest again i mean i i love pinterest so much and well i was just open my browser and somehow i kind of like um open the pinterest tab because i never close my pinterest tab and that image popped up and i think it's such a beautiful image and i mean the house is beautiful so i had to recreate that and that image actually is just very um like it's a crop photo of um of a whole house i would say so it's the like front facade and they have this kind of like a that window that jungle adventure window in the front part of the house and i just want to build by that reference so here we are now building a family house in oasis springs and i've never built on this lot i mean i did once and i just didn't really like it so i've never posted but um i think it's one of my most favorite lot because the lighting is incredible i mean the lighting in oasis springs is always really really good it's always on point and that's why the reason why i love oasis springs so much it's hands down the best base game world ever so i love oasis springs so so much that's why i always build on this world especially when i feel like i was kind of um don't know what to build but i want to build something so that's the story and i kind of um really liking the exterior i think i know i actually really really like it and that's because everything just looks very lush but still really look blend in with the um whole landscape the the whole um world and i have to say this so it took me about three ish hours to finish but that was because i was kind of confused what um the interior should look like as usual i always feel like i always got very confused with the style for the interior most of the times but the exterior is not that um hard for me to kind of like uh, visualize but the interior is really really hard sometimes but at the end it looks just right it looks really really cute i would say and i still use this um countertop sets from dream home decorator i just couldn't stop to building something with that uh not set that um pack i think it's one of the most stable pack in my game besides eco lifestyle and tiny living so if you have those three you're all set especially as a builder if you have those three you're set but if you're more like a gameplay player i think you will enjoy seasons cats and dogs parenthood and Tiny living or paranormal, I think. But anyway, let's just talk about the build. So at first I built this on foundation and then I realized when I wanted to do the kind of like a platform thing with uh, the kitchen, everything just looks really messed up. So I decided to raise the plat not platform, raise the um, foundation down and change it into um platform because i think it's so much easier i don't know why because 
normally if I had to work with platform, it would be such a huge mess because when I close up a room, I, I've already, I talk about this way too often, but when I close up a room, some rooms will have this issue where the platforms like raise up so many levels. I don't know why, but um, sometimes it doesn't happen. So I don't know what's the issue there, but surprisingly enough on this build, I didn't really have that much issue with the platform, which is um, kind of strange for me because I've kind of expected it that I will be struggling so much with platform when I do any builds with platform. And also we have a kind of laundry area over here. So we have three, um, doors to the outside the main door the front door and we have the side door and the backyard door so the side door is um the door from the i don't want to say garage because we don't have a garage and we don't have the ability to own a car in the sim but um it's kind of like a parking spot or what do you call that carport i think carport um and we have that door there so you have the laundry area over there and also a powder room and a bathroom so I kind of section off the living or public space like the living the kitchen area and the dining from the wet area or the bathroom and the laundry because I think that's um, more common I would say so actually my house kind of um, has this um, style i mean not the mid-century modern my house is not mid-century modern whatsoever but um i have this kind of a side door or like second door from the carport to the kitchen and the wet uh area like the bathroom those kind of things so i think it's kind of look um, more realistic a little bit there and also we are now on the um, first bedroom so we have three bedrooms this is the first bedroom and I imagine that the person who lives in this bedroom loves music. I could put some more instruments, but we don't have that many. I mean, we only have keyboard, um, guitar, of course, um, piano, and those um, fake piano thing from Vampire. I'm not sure what is the name, but you know what I mean. Um, that organ pipe, is that the name, I think? So that's the story for the um, first bedroom and this is the other bedroom or the second bedroom and I kind of imagine that the, not the person, the same who lives in this bedroom loves um, art and they do like some streaming frequently so I put that stream um, desk thing from Get Famous. I barely use that and I think I've only used that once and that was somewhere last summer i think which is ridiculously long so i decided to put that there and we are now on the master bedroom so the master bedroom is a bit bigger but not like extremely big but everything just look very decent size i would say it's not that small but it's not that big either but if you decided to download this house and play on this house you can just make up your own story like maybe they're all roommates and um, they split up the bill for the mortgage and everything so you can do that because I always build family house I have no idea why but my brain is stuck with family house but I think I'll be doing another um, like couples house or maybe like roommates house because we have the ability to have roommates since the discover university so I think I'll be doing that later next week I don't know but Anyway, house life because um, here in my country, everything's just very um, terrible the, with the pandemic and those cases. I mean, the cases is still um, kind of increasing very, very significantly. And every single day we have new record, which is not a good thing because normally new record um, means a good thing. But with the pandemic, it's not a good thing. So I try to keep my life at home so i've been staying at home for the past i don't know like almost a month maybe and i think it will still be like that for like two weeks from now so anyway i just hope you're doing great and are totally healthy because nowadays 
health is such a luxury because um, I don't know if I've ever talked this on any of my speedboat but few weeks ago my mom tested positive of COVID-19 and that's really terrible because she doesn't have any symptoms and also we I mean my whole family me my mom and my little brother are fully vaccinated since last April like early April so I am not sure what happens there but um, yeah I just hope that you're doing great you're fully healthy because that's the most luxury thing in life but anyway let's just talk about the build so we are now on the backyard so we have this very long backyard we have a pool we have also the bar thing from um, perfect patio or backyard stuff I think perfect patio and also we have this chase double chase thing it's just basically a lounge chair but not lounge it's actually a chase but I um, kind of put them side by side so it's a bit bigger and we also have a kind of outdoor dining here and also a one or two bikes maybe I'm not sure either one or two I think two and we'll be putting some more um, landscaping so I always use tool to copy every single debug landscaping from one place to another because that's just simple so I don't have to open up the debug catalogs because it will be so painful to scroll them one by one and finding what I want to put so yeah anyway we are um, just basically putting up terrain paints here and there and I think that's it wow this is such a fast fit build because it took me three ish hours to finish and it's just about like a 13 minutes video but anyway since we are now getting closer to the end of the speed build if you want to download this build this has been up on the sims 4 gallery you can find it under my EAID which is alfatiera or under the hashtag Plummy sims you could also click the link in the description box below that will bring you to the website gallery as well as the other link to grab the tray files from simple share so yeah i really hope you did enjoy this video and if you do Please make sure to hit the thumbs up button. Also, if you are not subscribed to my channel already, you can hit that subscribe button if you want to. And you can also ring the bell so you will be notified every single time I upload a new video. And yeah, I think that's it. So I'm going to wrap this voice over right now. Thank you so, so much for joining me today and supporting my channel. Enjoy the rest of the screenshots and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.